here's my reptile dragon this is going to be a short video on the components that i've used on this build some of the modifications i've made and how i've installed some of the equipment as well so i'm going to start here on the wing as you can see i've installed the fpv camera into the leading edge of the wing itself now the aircraft does come with pods that you can attach to these mounting points under the wing i just didn't fancy having something on the wing uh, giving me extra drag on one side or the other the motors are Emax Eco 2306 2400 kV motors and the propellers are three blade, six inch by three inch pitch. I've chosen to go for a low pitch because there's such a high kV motor. This is running 4S and as well as the uh, quad style motors, I'm actually running quad style ESCs. Now the ESCs that I'm using in here are BL Heli 32 quad ESCs. Um, over here on the wing, you can see my uh, Foxy Lollipop VTX antenna. It's a 5.8 gigahertz system. Under here is the TBS Unify 32 Pro, I believe it is. Um, the servos are Tower Pro Metal Gear servos. Now, in the tail, you can probably just about notice here, um, I've got the TBS Crossfire receiver here and the antenna has been embedded into the phone. So it, nice, clean look, um, no unsightly antennas sticking out and uh, quite well protected in the tail there as well. So you might be wondering what are these two lines down the top of the aircraft? Well, this used to be one hatch and this is another hatch. Unfortunately, when you open this up and you see, I could not get this battery in this quite steep angle under this uh, centre section here. So as you can see, I've actually just cut, cut that centre section out and glued it to the two hatches. Um, in order to make it rigid, I've embedded some carbon fibre strip into into the now one single hatch looking at the inside as you can see for this aircraft i will be using the zohd lion pack now this is the 21700 type cell and it's a 4s2p with 10,000 milliamp hours it's running a matek f405 wing board and that will be running INAV. Um, that's pretty much it to be honest. The only thing I would say about this aircraft is if you're going to get, if you've got, if you've got the choice between the kit and the plug and play, definitely get the kit. The, the equipment that does come with the plug and play, such as the motors and the ESCs, they're okay. The servos that comes with the, the PNP are not very good at all. Obviously, everything's been done on a budget and um, you would be better off using your own equipment. So that was just a quick run through of my Reptile Dragon. Um, links to some of the equipment that I've used in this build are in the description below. And thanks for watching.